What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I was having a very, very peaceful day up until this point. But this is one of those news stories that just gets your blood boiling. I don't blame any of you all if this news story really angers you, because I definitely feel the flames building up inside of myself while looking at this story. Now, I'm not sure how many of you all are aware of the Shanquella Robinson case. It's a case that I covered on my channel a few months ago. The story goes, a woman and her friends, okay, her friends, all travel down to Mexico. They're renting out this little villa. And during this trip, something happens. And one of the girls that goes down there, Shanquilla Robinson, winds up dead. The friends hastily travel back to the U.S. They don't wait for really any answers as to what happened. And the whole thing just looked really shady. And then, of course, days later, after everyone's questioning what happened here, video comes out showing that one of the people, basically the friends that Shanquella went on vacation with, were all standing around watching another one of the friends beat on her, beat her up, throw her around, grab her by the neck, slam her, you name it. I'm sure a lot of you all have seen the video. I'm not going to show the video here. Well, at first, this death was deemed an accident. But after this video, people like really started like getting outraged and they started applying pressure. This story gained a lot of traction and they kind of influenced prosecutors in Mexico and investigators in Mexico to further look into the case. They then announced that it was a femicide, which is a homicide committed against a woman. They originally thought that the person who killed Shanquella was really a dude dressed as a woman, but that was not the case. <laughs> Trust me, there was a, a lot of rumors spreading around about this case. Well, we've been waiting for months to see if America was going to extradite these suspects to Mexico because they're calling for the arrest of one of Shanquella. Uh, of one of Shanquilla Robinson's friends. So we've been waiting for months. Now, there has been developments in this story since the last time I talked about it, but I shied away from covering the story anymore because it really became very toxic. Like most true crime cases, rumors started flying all over the place. Creators started attacking each other. And it really became more about the drama surrounding people who were talking about the case as opposed to the case itself. So I stepped away. But today, I have to. I have to step forward and talk about this again. Because U.S. prosecutors just got done telling the family of Shanquella Robinson that they will not pursue charges in her death. And this is mind-boggling to me. I think looking at the cause of death is enough to raise plenty of questions. It's enough to warrant a further investigation because I don't believe that inside of a freaking living room that someone did the damage that Shanquilla Robinson had done to her neck and body and head area. It just wouldn't make sense. But they claimed that Shanquilla got drunk and passed out from drinking too much liquor or something like that. That was one of their excuses. Meanwhile, her neck is freaking broken. So knowing the alibis that her friends had, seeing that they hauled ass and left Mexico, seeing that their stories were obviously bogus, and looking at the, um, the injuries and stuff Shanquella had, in my mind, it's blatantly obvious that you should look into this case more. 
I was thinking that U.S. prosecutors were going to handle this situation eventually, but no, they're not going to pursue charges, which is, is mind boggling for me because not only was all of that evidence enough in my mind to really ask questions, but there's a video of this girl getting beaten, brutally beaten, and then she she's winds up dead the next day, put two and two together. But let's go ahead and dive into this article so we can have a better understanding of what is happening. Federal prosecutors told the family of Shanquilla Robinson on Wednesday that the evidence they have isn't enough for prosecution and Robinson's death last year in Mexico, the U.S. Attorney's Offices for the Middle and Western Districts of North Carolina said. Based on the results of the autopsy and after a careful deliberation and review of the investigative materials by both U.S. Attorney's Offices, federal prosecutors informed Ms. Robinson's family today that the available evidence does not support a federal prosecution. Federal officials said they do not normally issue public statements about the status of an investigation, but in this case, they felt it was necessary because of the public concern surrounding the case. It is important to reassure the public that experienced federal agents and seasoned prosecutors extensively reviewed the available evidence and have concluded that federal charges cannot be pursued, the statement said. Prosecutors in Mexico said last year they were investigating Robinson's death as a femicide, a crime defined as the intentional murder of a woman because they are a woman. In most countries, including the U.S., Femicide is not different from homicide in criminal law. I already went I already went over all of that for you all, but yeah. In a nutshell, long story short, Shanquilla Robinson's murderer and the accomplices and her so-called friends that sat around and watched her be beaten to death, they're all going to walk away free from this. No repercussions at all. And that is so sickening to me. I don't have the words to describe it. But it shows you how unfair the criminal justice system can be. I feel that if I feel like if I did something bad in Mexico, that the U.S. would have no problem shipping my ass back over there and locking me up. But here we have this group of people and this one person who's on video beating this person. They're going to walk away free. And then they have the nerve to say, we need you to have trust that, you know, we're the professionals and we handled this. You know, it's important to reassure the public that we are experienced federal agents and seasoned prosecutors. The only thing you reassured the public of is that you all are incompetent and downright idiotic and a joke. I hate how often I cover cases like this only to see the criminal justice system and to see law enforcement completely drop the ball. And they completely dropped the ball here. You're not reassuring anyone. I have zero experience. It doesn't take a freaking rocket science, a rocket scientist to know that something was fishy going on here. You have a woman that popped up dead with severe injuries to her neck and spine. Everyone she was on vacation with hauled ass and left her body in Mexico. They said that she drank too much and died. You have video evidence of them beating this girl. And you're going to say, oh, there's nothing here for us. The video of this woman being beaten before being found dead in that same hotel was not enough evidence. 
The fact that these people's alibis and story don't match up. The fact that they've been on social media throwing each other under the bus and stuff. That's nothing. So unfortunately for now, I don't know if anything is going to change, but for now, this is the end of the story. No justice for Shanquilla Robinson. Her so-called friends, her killer, walks away free to live their life, even though they're on video committing a crime. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Try not to cuss too much. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.